That's right. Good morning, guys. Here at the K, we're 24 hours and a few more from uh, the, the home opener here at Coffin Stadium tomorrow night. First pitch against the Chicago White Sox around 7, 7.05, I think, maybe 7.15. A lot of excitement about that, even with fans not being in the stadium. We want to bring in Dr. Dana Hawkinson, as always, as we do on Tuesday and Thursday mornings from KU Health. Dr. Hawkinson, thanks so much for joining us. You know, we're getting ready to watch Hi. professional sports. We're already seeing Major League Soccer yeah. work. We're getting ready to watch professional basketball as well. Lots of different tactics mm -hmm. being used by these professional uh, leagues to protect their athletes, keep fans away, playing in the bubble, the regular yeah. temperature and checks and tests and that kind of thing. Is there anything that we can apply to our daily lives that they're using in these kind of league settings to keep their players safe? Is there anything that we can learn from what professional sports is doing, just Joe Person, Joe Citizen? You know, hopefully they can actually learn from us. We've talked about the bubble. They've instituted their bubble. We've talked about the pillars of uh, infection prevention with masking and with distancing. And I think within that bubble, they are trying to do that as much as possible. Again, this is for the NBA. And then there is a bubble for um, baseball as well. You know, the NBA is a little bit different because they do play indoors um, compared to Major League Baseball, which is obviously outdoors. Um, it'll be it would be a lot easier to maintain social distance, say, on the uh, baseball field rather than on the basketball court, but continuing to do those things and moving forward, um, it, it'll be interesting to see what exactly happens. I know that some college football programs are looking at having people in the stands as well as um, the NFL. So I think moving forward, we need to continue to apply those principles um, to the sports, either leagues or the um, specific college sports to really try and keep everybody safe. Yeah, doctor, fans are happy that we have sports to watch right now. Thrilled that baseball mm -hmm. is back. They're really ready to go back and cheer them on in person at all these stadiums across the country. And way back in March when the pandemic was really just starting for us, Dr. Steve Stites from the University of Kansas Health System, your, your colleague, said, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that by sometime in the summer I'll be at Royals Stadium watching the Royals take yeah. the field. I'll tell you the first time I go there I'm going to stand and cheer and probably cry. <laughs> I remember that video made me emotional. We were all just kind of coming to grips with the road that we could potentially be on and thinking, wow, July's yeah. a long ways away. Now we're here and we still have yeah. a long ways to go. When do you think that fans will be able to return to stadiums? Yeah, I'm not sure he really talked about, you know, July and August right now. We understand that the infection dynamics, not only in our community, are still quite high. There is a lot of spread. There is a lot of hospitalizations compared to where we were two months ago. Um, in the nation, we know that there is. We understand that it comes down to people being able to do the right thing. If there's any indication of what we've seen from a lot of um, either videos or pictures or now new clusters that we're seeing from bars um, and mm. parties and get-togethers, but even when people seem to be doing the right thing um, in a graduation, we see now that people, I believe, in, in Florida were told that they're all exposed, so there's 300 people that can't go, um, have to quarantine. So. I think it all comes down to people being able to do the right thing, really continuing to change the mask culture as well as the physical distancing and maintaining that distance away from people. That's going to be hard to going into stadiums um, and other places to watch sports, other venues. So um, right now, you know, we're hopeful, I think, certainly when the vaccine comes, but that is a long way off before yeah. the vaccine is available. It's going to be, you know, can people do the right thing? We know that all of these programs and all of these leagues are working very diligently and very hard to get the best protocols and systems in place. I think we have to see where we go, start baby steps as we are doing, start the leagues without people uh, in the stands, and then go from there. Because two, two weeks from now is going to be a lot different than we are talking about right now as far as infections, hospitalizations, and all those kinds of things. All right, well, Dr. Dana Hawkinson, thanks so much for taking time to answer a few questions with us. We appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. I remember Thank Dr. You. Hawkinson joins us every Tuesday and Thursday to answer questions on the COVID-19 pandemic, so be sure to check in on Tuesday for the latest.